screen. And it's Dorsett, and the play is broken up by Banks and Marshall. Leonard Marshall, number 70, along with Banks, and third and long now for Dallas from their own 27-yard line. In as the Cowboys did with a double tight end setup. Moat and Bavaro from the 43-yard line. Straight ahead goes George Adams for a gain of about two. And Randy White, number 54, in his 13th season, is in on the stop. And they line it's Walker in motion. White floats one, complete to the 40-yard line to Gordon Banks. And a first down at midfield. And Danny White floated right over Carson and gets the completion. Right now, they are the split backs in this set. Second and nine from the 48. And Walker makes the catch and gets hit at the 41 yard line. But the fumble came after the whistle. Certainly receiving more than he ever has. It's a hit from behind. Here comes Harry Carson in from the right. Carl Banks comes in and cleans up it. Harry Carson puts a good shot on Herschel Walker, but he was clearly down before the ball came loose. He caught 76 passes last year. Third and two. He carries here. And Gets the first down and a lot more inside the 30. Run out of bounds at the 19-yard line by Terry Kennard. Team at all. And at home. Second down and eight. Reverse, and that doesn't fool anybody. Cosby on the end around is stopped by Leonard Marshall. Giants sniff that one out perfectly. Throwing for a loss back to the 21 and set up third down and long. All going away. He played it well. Third down and 14. Blindside rush. White gets stick, but gets it off. And a yeah. flag goes down. Interference. All over him. Kenny Hill crawling all over Cosby. And back with Walker behind him. And there's Cosby for extra limit. Walker bumps his way in for the score. Hey, that's some kind of play, Frank. Oh, what a great one he is. Again, he always makes it look so easy. First from the one, 5.52 left in the period. 7-0 Cowboys. He's going in motion as the Giants take over at their own 20. And it's Joe Morris out to the 27-yard line. He is stopped there by number 50, Jeff Rohrer, the linebacker. So third and one, two tight ends in the game. And through the middle is Joe Morris. And all he has to do is with a little scuffle breaking out. Some shoving and pushing with Roarer and Jeffcoat. And 10, Giants in the 30-yard line. Sims wide open at the 45-yard line is Bavaro. And he is into Cowboy territory to the 48. Wide open on the sideline was the tight end, Mark. Blocked by Morris, and then the pass is caught by Adams inside the 30 to the 24-yard line. Line. And little Joe, well, he doesn't like to be called little Joe, but you get the picture. It takes it to the 20-yard line. I say that only because Morris at 5'7", 195, you saw that block on War from the 19. Galbraith is in the game. Jim steps up, throws, complete to the 10-yard line. A Lionel Manuel playing with a soft cast. A guy who caught two passes last week, both for touchdowns against St. Louis. Lions trying to cash in on an impressive drive. First and goal from just inside the 10. Morris takes the ball down to the 6, and that should be the final play of the first quarter. And Morris are the running back. Sims going to the air. Sims throwing for the end zone, and a flag goes down. The intended receiver was Lionel Manuel, and Everson Walls was in the picture as well. And you had Bates covering Bavaro right along. Tight end set up with both Bavaro and Moen on the right side. Adams in motion, toss to Morris, and driven back by Eugene, the hitting machine, Lockhart, the middle linebacker. 7-0, early second quarter. On a sweep, Morris. And Joe Morris is in for the score. Oh, he just ran right through Michael Downs. For the touchdown after the Cowboys had driven 72 for their score, and we're tied at seven. Giants needed this from Joe Morris. Uh, really hurt in the running department when they lost Carl Nelson over the right side. He, of course, undergoing the Hodgkin's disease. Man, Rockford from the 11-yard line. And 
Tony Dorsett is tripped up. Great play by Carl Banks to shed a block and make the tackle. That's a walker. You can't make a block three yards in your own backfield. On second and 12, Banks makes the catch and has the first down out of the 23-yard line. As a wide receiver to the right on first down from the 23-yard line. And Herschel finds no room at all. A half dozen blue jerseys to push him back, led by George Martin, Pepper Johnson, and Carl Banks. From the 25-yard line for the Cowboys. And White throws it, and it's picked off by Lawrence Taylor, and he's down to the 10-yard line. Leonard Marshall put the pressure on and forced it, and then Taylor with the intercept, and the Giants were in business. Lawrence Taylor right on the line of scrimmage with a big tackle right in his face. Just had the ball fly to him and stick like it was on fly paper. Adams in motion. Sims sacked at the 24-yard line. Bursting through is Mike Hickman. Two. Very good protection. And then Adams makes the catch and is tackled at the 6-yard line from behind by Hickman. Nice grab by Adams. by Jones. You can't really expect your offensive line to keep him out that long. 35-yard attempt by Raul Alegre is true. Alegre from the 25-yard line has given the Giants the lead after the interception by Taylor. 10-13 to play in the half. New York on top by three. In the league, and let's take a look at combined yards. That is rushing yardage, receiving yardage, and return yardage. Kickoffs, punts, and also fumble return yardage. Peyton, uh, the leader by a lot. Jim Brown second, and Dorsett moving in on the former Cleveland fullback. Into Giants have the dollar. Giants take over at their own 33 on first and 10. Ten. Open is Daniel and a first down as he takes it out to the 49-yard line. Everson Walls with the coverage. Real horse. <laughs> horse and a half. Second and seven. Adam to the 45-yard line. It'll be third down and about three. On himself, and that is get their anger and he get, get his focus off the strike. And he's been very successful with it. Runs his way to a first down on the 31-yard line. Tackled by Bill Bates, so he improvises first down Giants. At the 32-yard line, Joe Morris is taken down by Mike Hegman, number 58. Hegman, the second oldest linebacker in the National Football League. The head by three, 453 to go in the half. Pressure, sack. At the 42-yard line, Jeff Warren with help from Jesco to finish him off. Hurt with letting Landetta punt again, so they take it first and ten. From the 20, fumble and recovered by Dallas back at the 12-yard line. It was Taylor who came in and forced it, and then Tom Rafferty covered up. <laughs> at, least, at least you see it. At least you see the headlights before you get run over. <laughs> Third and 16. And it's Renfro who gets open in the seam and has the first down at the 40-yard line. White dumps it off. No, he was in the grasp. He was in the grasp of George Martin, and the play was whistled dead by Fred Wyant for the sack. Shotgun. And he gives it to Galbraith. And then Galbraith takes it after the 18. Fumble. And he fumbles. And we'll wait for an official signal. Randy White's on his way off the field. He thinks the Cowboys have it, but you know they're going to be tackling <laughs> that football down there. Well, who had it going in doesn't necessarily mean that'll be who has it coming out. Dallas. Line up with a double tight end setup with Cosby in motion. And Dorsett starting to move forward. White says Banks. <laughs> Banks and Johnson coming right over the top. Defense, first off. He starts five at the 13 yard line. White for Cosby. Stopped at the eight yard line. Again, the Cowboys have all of their timeouts. Audible. And White throwing complete to the 
three-yard line to Mike Renfro. And that's the first down. And the clock keeps going. And that's an audible all the way. As Dallas takes the timeout, but as we've seen, to Cosby and Renfro. First and goal with Walker in motion. Takes to Newsom. Walker is out into the pattern, and the pass is oh, caught yeah. for the touchdown by Cosby. He's 6'6". Take a look at it again. Again, good protection. A little play action down there. Didn't mean much. Looked out to the right. Cosby on the back line. Good athletic move. Comes down. Both feet inbound. Scored a touchdown against the Giants in his last five games. What's interesting is he scored five in the five previous games that the Cowboys have played against the Giants. So he doesn't, at least at the moment, the Cowboys have won the fans back. A standing O for their Cowboys. And, of course, you become their Cowboys when you lead by four. <laughs> Even on passing situations tonight, and he's been a pretty good blocker. There are the stats from the first half. Turnovers equal, but the one by the Giants, Tony Case, first half, third down and long. Third and 11. Jones is there, got a hand in, and Tuchel gets the sack. They did that without the inside comes too tall. When you get an offensive tackle who turns his shoulders away from the line of scrimmage, he went to Arizona State. Right. <laughs> uh, from the 32, it's Sims throwing out to the 41 and a first down. And the catch made by the rookie Stephen Baker, who played at Fresno State. And he played there with Kevin Sweeney, who is on what amounts to the taxi squad now of the Dallas Cowboys. First down from the 41-yard line. And Sim throws, and there's Bavaro making the catch, and he steps out of bounds a little shy of the first down marker. And it means a, a free play, and this is coming up for the Giants because it's going to be second and one. Dan was mentioning it a moment ago. I wonder and Sims is going to use this free play to go deep. Very deep. And the catch is made for the oh. touchdown. Lionel Manuel. So Phil Sims second and one, and it's a free one, so why not? And Manuel got free, and he's in for the score to put the Giants on top. 31 to go in the period. Great read by Manuel because he did not put any kind of move on. He read the double coverage, any kind of a move, and Michael Downs might have been there to make the difference. The Giants go out in front. Fake to Walker. Pass is back away one-handed by Mark Collins second year corner at a Cal State Fullerton Mike Renfro the intended receiver down the sideline second get this team back into the playoffs second and ten Walker nice move to escape Pepper Johnson and then he takes it out to the 47 yard line Johnson had him shadowed and then Walker cut back to the inside and turns what would have been a five yard gain into a 12 yard pickup football game when you rush for those kind of averages third and seven from the 50 off balance throw to Newsom, and he makes the catch, but comes up well short of the first down. Stopped by Kenny Hill, and that'll force Dallas to kick. Look at career combined yards, rushing, passing, receiving. Frank is up there among the leaders at 98.70, and uh, yours truly would be <laughs> second. And then, of course, there was uh, the one-time tackle for the Cardinals, Dan Deardorff who snapped the ball over Neil Lomax's head. He had 12 yards returning fumbles in his career and then got charged with a minus 13. Steve Hurt, one... you're a dead man. You <laughs> set me up today. This is Adam. And there he is, folks. Minus one. What did you do again? yardage. I was a center and a shotgun snap. And if it goes over the quarterback's shoulder, they credit the center with having caused the fumble. And I got, I got the loss of yardage. I... I thought Lomax was at least nine or ten feet tall. Frank, not only that, but on the but Dallas or Washington recovered and on the next play, Seisman threw a touchdown. Oh come pass. on, give me a break. He did. The Rams came up with the entire draft for next year. Yeah. <laughs> White going deep. Edwards and no flag. And the crowd wants a flag. Perry Williams with the coverage. If anything, he hooked him in the face mask a little bit. It's yes. And look at this. Jackson has to go through his hands and still has time to get in the wet. The Giants have set up a return, so he makes a little something out of nothing. 
And a flag is down back at the line of scrimmage. Well, you'll have illegal men downfield because they left well before the kick, not knowing what had happened with Saxon back behind. Hadn't immediately said, we don't want it. Ineligible number 40 downfield declined first down. From Steve Diossi. It's right at eye level, and that snap from Diossi should have been handled by Saxon, who still has trouble getting the handle on it, and the Giants, who were set up in a return, had no no one pressuring the kicker whatsoever. Boy, talk about a wasted opportunity for the Giants. Would not be surprised to see Bill Parcells wanting to go quickly for a big score. Good. In front of the rookie, Ron Francis, bottom of your screen. To the left, Manuel going deep, and he's going for Manuel, who has him beat, and touchdown. Great ball. I get an assist. <laughs> you get the setup. <laughs> at it again, and he did not make any mistakes at all in preseason. It's one of the rare times Landy would ever start a rookie, but twice now we have seen Manuel just sprint right by him. There's no way they were not going to come back to it, particularly on second and long, because they were anticipating the blitz. They got that. They picked it up. Single coverage, an easy touchdown for the Giants. For Tony Dorsett, he can take it away from anybody. Good point. From the 30-yard line, Danny White and Cosby first down out to the 45. They go to the tight end, and Kenny Hill makes the tackle. And the plays the Cowboys are making really belong to Danny White. Again here, first and 15 after the procedure call, and it's Cosby who takes the ball over the 50 and is run out of bounds at about the 47 in his career. And I believe that was against the Cowboys in New York. Second and three, Danny White to Cosby again. And a first down at the 27-yard line. So three times they have gone to Cosby, who has scored a touchdown already tonight. From the 27-yard line, Walker. Stopped by Hill at the 16. And so Dallas mounts a drive at a time when they need to move into the end zone. They're down by 10. Renfro to the right. And they give it to Dorsett, and still nothing cooking. He is ankle tackled by Carl Banks. Contracts and economics, the things he said prior to that. And might have something to do with that as well. Very confused young man, though. He can't quite understand it. Minus one yard. That's, uh, that's astonishing. I don't know that that's ever happened to Tony before, and I think you saw a good look. Well, not done. And he lost it, and incomplete with a flag because Andy Hedden didn't even turn around. With Timmy Newsom down there, Andy Hedden was looking right into Newsom's eyes and never looked back at the ball. I don't think they're going to get the call. No penalty, no penalty. Oh, Ruzak's 35-yard attempt spotted the 25-yard line, and he boots it through, and that puts them back within seven. With 11.58 to play in the fourth period, it's now 24-17. It's like looking down at a fire hydrant when you're in your stand. On second and nine. Tip and intercepted. And run back inside the 15 by Jeff Coates for the touchdown. Jim Jeff Coates. He's going to come from the right of your screen inside. Watch him get the ball. Jeff Coates blocked at the line of scrimmage, and it just served up right to him. And from there, he beats Phil Sims into the end zone. Dallas needed a big play. They got it from Ed Jones and Jim Jeff Coates. Jeff Coates, the touchdown maker, set up by two tall Jones. Jones has knocked down 61 passes in the last seven years. And uh, that's called an ET, the end crashes to the inside. Too tall, gets inside William Roberts. The ball just batted up into the air perfectly for Jim Jeffcoat and Bill Sims tries, but Jim has just got a clear sail into the end zone. And both resulting in touchdowns. Second and 15, penalty flag is down. I think the clock had run out. It did, too much time. Sure. Third he did it again. He third, did some moves again. Third and 18. The play is waved off. The play is a dead play. Right. Waved off. That means nothing what just happened there. Waved off. The Giants have already been penalized 11 times. 
Sims is sacked at the two. They've been better off punting. They will. Now. And they will not be able to even punt from a spread formation now. Guys. Oh, and yeah. he does. And it's a, a pretty good kick. And a fair catch is made at the 48-yard line by Edwards. And so White and the Cowboys coming back with 6.42 to go in the fourth. Tied 24-24. Out, send Edwards and Banks to the left and Walker as a receiver to the right. And it's uh, Timmy Newsom carrying the football down to the 43-yard line. Or Dorsett, rather. Tony Dorsett carrying for a gain of about four to the inside or outside to make the tackle. On second and six. Walker inside the 30 and Herschel with the 23-yard line. Herschel Walker. Feeding it dead solid perfect. And right behind the linebacker, Banks. And he's wide open for just that moment. And Danny White has been there three different times tonight. White gives it to Tony. And he's wrapped up right there. Leonard Marshall, number 70. The throw. Third and 10 from the shotgun. White pressure and sack, and that may take Ooh. him out of field goal range. That's a big sack by Leonard Marshall. The Rafferty snaps, and the kick is good, just good. Oh. Maybe by a yard. Boys, I'm sure, would have liked to have run off more time. Right through the Ooh. middle. And just over the crossbar. That baby wasn't good by more than a couple of feet. The Cowboys had a field goal block last week in Philadelphia that helped turn the game, but this time the body English was good. Ruzek, plenty to spare. Ruzan at the four. Remember, a penalty marker is down. But you'd have to think that that flag is going to end up being against the Giants. You got a marker, a scuffle, and no fall yet on a recovery. Uh, you don't even know if the official's in there. Yeah. Outside of that, not much is going on here. <laughs> Three little altercations. No signal yet. You notice most of the white jerseys are the hyperactive ones. Well, for the moment, they've got a Dallas recovery, but now let's see about the penalty. Illegal block in the back. Number 57 declined for down. No sweeter music could be heard by this crowd. Talk about destructing in just the last few minutes. Second and six. And White's going to throw it. And it's caught by Thornton Chandler, and he's out of bounds. It appears to be a, a yard shy of a first down at the 20, and he steps out of bounds, and that helps the Giants. It's third and one. They let Herschel do it, and he can't do anything, and Lawrence Taylor is right there. Big, big play. And the Giants calling for a timeout. Bill Parcells going crazy trying to get somebody to call one. After this attempted field goal, we'll have three stoppages of the clock at their disposal. And in the Giants game, which they lost 16 to 14, they started at their own two yard line, 16 14. The lure holds. This kick is long enough and very true as well. So Dallas leads by six with 2.54 to play in the fourth period. Joined him behind the bench with his little whistle. Shotgun, first and 10, and Sims has it kicked up in the air, intercepted by White. 22. Unbelievable. Jones and Jones kept it again. Sims is hurt. Sims is hurt because I think he got hit by Jeff Coat and he is clutching his left knee. Your quarterback. Jeff Coat 77 at the bottom against Benson. Look at him just throw Benson into the air. Oh, you can see this coming. I don't want to see. Oh. And Phil Sims went down. He has been around this game a long time. Nine year veteran. Some classy, uh, some classy applause here by the Cowboy fans, too, who give Phil Sims a hand. That's, that, that's 
great that he's able to put. Look at him bend it on his own yeah. slide up. Hey, this is if you're a Giants fan, that's the best thing you've seen in a while. Granted, the play that just happened is terrible news, and who knows what's going to happen when the playoffs get around here. But if you're a Giants fan, that's great news. So Jeff Rutledge. The sparingly used one will have to come in when the Giants get the ball back, but that may be for a while because Dallas has it at the 21. Sims is doing. Dallas has it at the 21 yard line, and Herschel Walker falls out losing <laughs> the football at the 19 yard line. Now look at Sims, but let's get the result of the fumble. And it is the Giants who recover. The Giants. Get it back. Of all things, Dallas with a chance to almost run the whole clock out. A fumble and Jim Bird recovers. With Jim Jeffcoat, they just took control of it once again here in the fourth quarter. Third and 16. Dorsett, and he wants to stay in bounds, and he does to the 18. And the Giants have to spend their last timeout. So the Giants take a timeout. Landry is going to try to cement it with a field goal. And this baby's over. Ruzek. Rutledge. To Galbraith. And he's knocked down at the 50-yard line. Down a second at four and three. Lionel Manuel who makes the catch at the 30 and that'll do it and for the Giants a long ride home and, and uh, they did it <laughs> for what it's worth <laughs> so much for the smile yep one for the ages folks he waves to Bill Parcells they'll not meet on the field